बहुत सुंदर अरुणाचल जिसे हम भारत में कहते हैं कि सूरज की रोशनी यहीं से भारत में फैलती है इसकी हॉस्पिटेलिटी जो सी पी ए कॉन्फ्रेंस में दो विषय जो डिस्कस होने थे इस पर लोगों का बहुत मीनिंगफुल इंटरवेंशन बहुत पॉजिटिव ढंग से हर चैलेंजेस का रास्ता निकालें और कैसे 2014 के बाद खास तौर से सारे लोगों ने मेंशन किया कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट एक नए हाइट की ओर जाने की ओर अग्रसर है वो नया माइंडसेट हमारे डायनमिक चीफ मिनिस्टर में हमारे माननीय विधानसभा अध्यक्ष सोना जी में एक एक मेटिकुलसली जिस तरह से बढ़िया प्लान वे में चीज़ें हुई और बहुत फ्रूटफुल डिस्कशन हुआ निश्चित तौर पर नॉर्थ ईस्ट एक नए हाइट पर इस तरह से आपस में संवाद से जाएगा ये मेरा यकीन है इन तीन दिनों में बहुत सारे ऐसे इश्यू डिस्कस हुए हैं जो बहुत ज़रूरी था और इस उम्मीद में ताकि आप जाके सेंटर में उस इशू को रिप्रेजेंट कर कर सकें तो क्या उम्मीद रहेगी आपसे असल ये जो सारे डिस्कशन होते हैं उसमें खुद माननीय लोकसभा अध्यक्ष हमारे सी के देश के चैप्टर के चेयरमैन हैं डेफिनेटली उन तक चीज़ें जाती हैं और जो एक प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रक्रिया है उसके तहत निश्चित रूप से जो चीज़ें हैं वहाँ तक पहुँचती हैं पर यह आप गौर करें कि कल यहाँ सारे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के जो सी पी ए मेम्बर्स स्टेट हैं रीजन हैं उन्होंने धन्यवाद दिया माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी को केंद्र सरकार को कि 2014 के बाद इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर से लेकर और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सिर्फ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं रेल रोड एयर आपका और कनेक्टिविटी कैसे मतलब मोबाइल से लेकर के बाकी चीज़ों की कनेक्टिविटी कम्युनिकेशन की कनेक्टिविटी डिजिटल कनेक्टिविटी साथ साथ होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट की जो कोशिश चल रही है पूरे यहाँ के हैंडीक्राफ्ट्स ट्रेडिशन को बाहर ले जाने की और बाद बाद माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी कहते हैं कि बिना इस रीजन के विकास के तो देश विकास कैसे कर सकता है इधर के जो भी फेस्टिवल्स हैं उनका वो दिल्ली में आयोजन होता है खुद उसमें मौजूद रहते हैं उसके स्लोगन क्वन करते हैं तो कैसे देश का हिस्सा बन गया है ये दिल प्रदेश है देश का ये आ, सब लोग महसूस करते हैं और निश्चित तौर से आ, एक नए मुकाम की ओर उत्तर पूर्व के राज्य अग्रसर हैं और सबसे बड़ी चीज़ है यहाँ के लोगों का बड़ा पॉजिटिव हमारे जो डायनमिक लीडरशिप है चाहे चीफ मिनिस्टर्स हों मंत्री हों विधायक हों या हमारे माननीय विधानसभा अध्यक्ष हों कितना सुंदर ढंग से काम करने का जो तौर तरीका कल्चर है इट्स वेरी इम्प्रेसिव दिस विल टेक अस मच अहेड अरुणाचल प्रदेश इट्स लवली हम तो आ रहे हैं वैसा मैंने उल्लेख किया कि कल माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अरुणाचल कहा उन्होंने बहुत सुंदर तरीके से कि दिल्ली की गर्मी से हम सब आए हैं या इतना सुंदर वेदर है मैंने कहा सिर्फ वेदर ही सुंदर नहीं है आज जब मैं धन्यवाद दे रहा था हॉस्पिटलिटी लोगों का हर तरह का अरेंजमेंट वह भी उतना ही सुंदर है थैंक यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम हैप्पी टू बी हेयर इन इटानगर द ब्यूटिफुल स्टेट ऑफ अ कंट्री द राइजिंग सन I would like to congratulate my friend Pidi Sona, honorable speaker of Arunachal Pradesh, for being host a grand success beyond our expectation, and under the leadership of dynamic uh, chief minister of, uh, of uh, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Pema Khandu ji. Everything is a success. We are happy indeed to be here. in this uh, commonwealth parliamentary association zone three conference held in itanagar so uh, are you happy how it all turned out the event about the event of course i am very happy indeed. and <clears throat> the topic we had set together for the development and good of our northeastern people and the central government central india as well i especially thank to the your chief minister our chief minister of arunachal pradesh uh, for being mentioning and address our badly in it of our state two state arunachal pradesh and mizoram a separate cadre of is for mizoram and arunachal pradesh that is very very important for the futures to come so what was your high point uh, at this uh, two day conference 
The today's conference high point is how to work together for the betterment of our Northeast fraternity, partnership, and progress for our country also, as well as that is the main point for our meeting. Uh, you've been here for three days, um, uh, touring around Arunachal Legislative Assembly. What aspect <coughs> of it would you like to implement in Mizoram Assembly as well? Yeah, this is this assembly is set red and building as well is the best I had ever visited of our, our country. I have traveled almost all in the different states of our country. This is the beautiful and you know uh, state of the art arrangement, everything. Building construction, the way they place art and culture, everything is nice. So arrangement and the uh, buildings, you know, the way they select the articles, everything is uh, up to the mark. Any messages or anything you would like to say to the delegates? Well, let's hope better, uh, the better uh, better in future, together we work, we will improve the, the goals of our uh, team. And I would like to congratulate the host, uh, Arunachal Pradesh people, uh, Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, Speaker, Ministers and MLS and all the workers who have been uh, working for the success of this this uh, meeting. I congratulate, uh, congrats, congratulate them for being the uh, current success of this conference. Your experience so far? Well, um, we are, me and my delegation, we are all struck at the hospitality of uh, Arunachal Assembly and the government. Um, it's a really beautiful state. We have come, I have been here um, after 15 years now and lots of changes, um, lots of developments and it's good to see a lot of changes happening and really in a hill station uh, to have a four lane, it's quite, uh, it's quite a wonderful thing. So I was commending it to Honorable Chief Minister also and he was sharing his uh, plans uh, for the state in, till 2024. So we, um, we had a lovely conference, the 18th CPA. It was very productive. And all across the board, uh, we could reach to a consensus on some issues. And um, we made a uh, unanimous decision on some particular resolutions. And uh, we are hoping that uh, the central government, through the Lok Sabha Secretariat, may be able to uh, take note of it and I think it would benefit all of us. So we were unanimous in highlighting certain challenges that we all face. Um, well, all of us were unanimous uh, in one particular point that is that uh, the same yastik should not be applied when it comes to implementation of central uh, sponsor schemes because uh, the nature of the terrain the remoteness and also the uh, socio-economic difference uh, it creates a hurdle while we implement uh, certain uh, central sponsored schemes so the unanimous resolution was to put across uh, across the table put across a resolution that uh, when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, designing any form of uh, schemes or policies for the Northeast Northeast should be accommodated while at the initial stage. It should not be a one size fit all kind of an affair for the Northeast state. So we were pretty unanimous on that. In one of one of your things, if I may, if I'm not wrong, he stated that the time zone between the mainland India yes, and yes. The, uh, Northeast as general is quite different. And the sun rises at 4 p.m. Uh, 4 a.m. and the work started at 10. Work starts at 10:30 a.m. So. The five hours is wasted. It, it was his statement. So, would you like to add up more on that? Um, I believe it was a statement made uh, 
by a part of my delegation, yeah. uh, Honorable Minister uh, Mr. Tompang Ozukam, being the Minister for PWT Mechanical and Housing. Um, I feel I strongly feel that is a very relevant statement. Mm -hmm. Um, the sun does rise um, from Arunachal mm. in this part of the country, um, 4.30 to be exact. And so um, for the northeast, uh, if we have a separate time zone, that is uh, maybe an hour or two ahead of uh, the uh, standard uh, Indian time, that mm. would, uh, I think, help us because the weather condition, uh, the sunset and the sunrise is different. So. Um, and we have a lot of work to do. So if we get uh, at least two to three hours of uh, um, working hours when the sun is around, I think it would immensely help each and every one of us. Sir, uh, I'd like to put up one more question. Uh, the m m one of the most uh, discussed topic was on the border issue, you know, <laughs> border scuffles and especially between Nagaland and Arunachal as well. Do you think with the uh, meeting, you know, CPA, true CPA, will there be any amicable solution? Um, Can we expect a solution? See, um, each of uh, the eight northeastern sister states, we have our respective um, political and um, economical uh, issues, mm. as well as social issues. So this uh, inter-border issue would be a political issue mm. and uh, I think these are taken up at the level of the Honorable Chief Ministers but I must add that the Honorable Chief Minister of uh, Arunachal, Nagaland um, as well as Manipur and Assam uh, under the dynamic uh, uh, leadership of uh, our NEDA chairman Mr. Himanta Paswa who I mentioned yesterday as well he I like to call him the Chanakya of the East. So he's doing a good job. He's uh, coordinating well. And um, in lieu of uh, the 75th uh, celebration of independence, uh, I feel the border issues, uh, many of the border issues may be resolved amicably. There are progress happening, at least in my state. Um, my Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable um, Shirini Pirio, uh, under his leadership, we have uh, set a very high level empowered committee to look into the Nagaland Assam uh, border issues. And uh, the matter has been taken up at the highest level. And um, so far, we have heard that it's progressing well. And uh, I hope all these uh, border issues, uh, if resolved amicably, will benefit all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much.